Welcome to a color compare of pink contrast in speed paint. This is kind of a weird category because there's a bunch of kind of different options that kind of fall into other categories, and we've kind of put them together into what I'm calling the pinks. If I missed one that you think is a good pink, let me know, and I'm going to be doing a color compare here in a couple weeks of viewer requests, basically, of, hey, you should compare these two colors that were not in the same video. We are getting very close to have had most of the Citadel contrast paints. Actually, I mean, we have over half of them now, but uh, we have just two more Army Painter paints to see, this one and one other, and then they've all appeared at least in one color compare video. So we're getting close. Here are our different pinks. And you see right in the middle there, we've got the Army Painter Purple Alchemy. And that's kind of the color I used as the basis for this video. I said, okay, what from Citadel is close? And then how do the different Citadel options compare to each other? So Purple Alchemy is a really neat color. And I thought maybe it'd be kind of like this Vulpus Pink. And it is. I mean, if you wanted to say, okay, I'm going to use either of those, you know, you could, you could, you could probably interchange those pretty freely, though they're just different enough that you might notice which model you put which on, though if you were consistent, I don't think it matters which one you choose. Then we also have this Doomfire Magenta, and Doomfire Magenta is another one of those colors that's very flat. The highs aren't so high, the lows aren't so low, but there you go. There's the Doomfire Magenta. To really kind of round this out, I also grab Magos Purple, and, you know, looking at that, it's in a way close to that Vulpus Pink, but it's definitely lighter and definitely more on the purple side. And then we have the Sigvald Burgundy, again, Decently flat, it's got a little bit more shading than the Doomfire Magenta, but then also more on that purple side maybe, though still at home with the pinks. In fact, I wanted to get it up against, you know, here, this Vulpus Pink. Pretty close, this is almost like a darker, heavier coverage that kind of thing. You know, multiple layers of Vulpus Pink might look a lot like Sigvald Burgundy, or maybe even more so for the Army Painter Purple Alchemy. You see how those are kind of similar there. So, there you go. That's kind of what we're looking at here. I am not a big painter of all things pink. I am going to be looking at uh, using some Sigvald Burgundy on some Caradron Overlords. But really, you know, I just wanted to show you what we have available for these colors. If I owned none of these, I mean, me personally, I would probably be set for life with this Purple Alchemy, because honestly, I'm not going to be using it on a lot. Though I would be tempted to pick up this Sigvold Burgundy, just because that is such a nice color. I'm not sad to have the Doomfire Magenta in my list here. That's kind of nice. And then also having this Magos Purple around is kind of a neat color for maybe doing some shadings. I think that might replace some washes that I use on some of my actual purple colors, so not so much a pink in this case. All right, well, let me know if these colors are, you know, really what you're looking for. I hope they are. I hope this was useful in deciding which of these you want to use for your models. And let me know what you want to paint with these. I'd be curious to hear what folks are doing. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Take care. Let's get gaming.